Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources. Soviet Republic. Let's see what kind of news we missed here. Fire, 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 and fire. Looks like our fire departments are doing an awesome job, so let's continue on providing them all with all the finances they require to be efficient. I really don't like this road, how it looks like. I think I should just leave it as it is now that it's built, so... Uh, there's no point in changing that. Anyway, let's recap for whoever never saw this series. I'm gonna recap what we're doing here. Uh, by the way, like, subscribe, notification bell, all that good stuff. Click it, do it. Uh, comment section. If you think I'm doing something wrong, just comment. So we have Alesh as the our. It's it's a city on the default map, random map, vanilla map, but with towns. Alesh as a city. I destroyed all the small villages, town houses, relocated population, and started with the textile industry construction industry, oil refinery, and then we expanded to coal extraction with uh, Varstok being our pride and joy 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 because for some reason there's no pollution here. I have no idea why. Look at this. Oh, actually, there is some pollution. I think it's an on and off. Sometimes it's some... I don't know. Then we went with uh, providing more oil to our oil refinery with oil fields here, uh, Dubasalia and Barahara oil fields. We also built our steel mill, coal production, and a huge beautiful town here on this hilltop overlooking Leshche. We have a couple of public transports. We're gonna go over that in a second. And the Jarnoviets, first nuclear power plant we built. It's in Jarnoviets. It's working out nicely. Actually, we're gonna re we're gonna see how it's working. But Vavkavisk. This is where all the resources come in, come from, and this is our first party headquarters. And uh, yeah, this is just, 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 just epic. It's working out nicely. We are educating all our people. People are happy. All the buildings are full. These are brand newly constructed buildings, so nobody is living here. But even with buildings that are not connected to the main road, there's people living. Not only living, they're full. <laughs> oh, incredible! Okay, let's uh, let's just give them a little bit uh, uh, more connections here because they need to get to the sports grounds and you know all that good stuff that that one wants to do. Right, so I'm gonna create a couple of nice pathways here. Maybe yeah, a little bit like this, and then like this. <coughs> And uh, I'm not gonna ma mess with this road until it's fully finished, so we can continue connecting everything. This can be done by our own companies, and this, I'm gonna assume that this is all fully well connected. And uh, yeah, I was surprised that there's this building is full, we didn't get any people here to live here. They came on their own, look at this, all of them college educated. This is example town. Um, we uh, do have... oh. No call or oh yeah, of course. No call or because the call or mine is stopped, and we're gonna do this and give it. Tell it. To, oh, you can't. Of course. Right, right, right. Uh, we can. Uh, so you need to aggregate that loading. Go there, but one of you guys are gonna go and unload. Right, and that's gonna unblock our uh, train here. Okay, so there's too many trains waiting for loading and unloading, so that's a problem. Especially one here that is interrupting the <coughs> uh, our our way to to the mine because yeah, this is quite important for us. This is the biggest coal mine we have. Okay, come on, chop chop. So why aren't you going now? Here we go. Okay, it passed. And now this should open. Come on, there we go. Are there any people in there? No, they're probably left, of course. Okay, that's gonna recover in, in uh, due time. Uh, these are two iron trains. Now this is a gravel train. This is iron train. Uh, I will do this one, and I will send you back as... Whoa! Oh, there was one iron in there. Okay, okay, that's fine. 
Uh, you can all go. That's that's pretty much fine. Oh, Iron was the one who was waiting. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. So you can go, you can go, you can go. That's all fine. Let's see here. Yes, and uh, soon, I'm assuming that soon the coal is gonna, uh, coal or uh, coal mine is gonna start working, and that's all gonna be fine again. Uh, yes, the, this town, what this town is missing is more pr processing capacity. Here we go. People are coming in. I was still thinking that it would be really good to have a um, <coughs> cable car way all the way there, but uh, it could be a little bit on the long side, so I might pass on that. But yeah, okay, uh, that's resolved. Uh, let's see if we have any train issues around here. No train issues. These are major arteries. No train issues. That's fine. How is steel mill doing? Of course, no iron, but that was because the train was blocked. And we have too much coal. Yes, that's because we don't have enough iron. Is this iron? Yes, here we go. Iron is coming. Uh, here we go. All the iron you can process. Yes, and the world stops, starts moving again. Right, we're constructing this neighborhood here. Uh, what else do I want to check? Yeah, but public transport, guys. Whoever didn't watch this, we have trams. We have functional trams. They're quite good. But uh, not really that used. We have only like four people here and there. Um, not really that many of them, but a lot of them are coming here up this way. Okay, so these guys are waiting, obviously. So would they get in? This tram? Yeah. So they're getting going somewhere. I have no idea. Let, let's check where this guy is going. Uh, waiting platform, uh, education level, the university education. But he looks like he's unemployed. Waiting, thunder, da, da. so what are you well, Home building, you have all the floods, bricks too. And uh, current demands, food and prey. Oh, he's probably going for um, for to a church. Currently at home, no you're not. Um, right, okay, let's not mess with that anymore. So we have party headquarters here as well, but there's no... Um, I didn't connect it to the front side, so only on this side here. Right, uh, also, I, we have trolley buses going all the way here, so there we go. Six passengers going back, that's fine. What about these flats here? They're fine. Uh, let's see pollution around this area. Pollution on this area is a little bit on the high side, I have no idea why. And the dodgy thing is this creating pollution or not, I don't know. This is unloading crops, and uh, alcohol is being produced, so this is functioning, even though we're gonna move all this production here. Uh, right, right, right. So we have one alcohol uh, uh, distillery up and running, so we're fine with that. <coughs> the rest of the roads need to be finished. We, we need the whole complex done before we do anything serious about it, so... Uh, right. Fields. Do I remove the fields? No, I'm just gonna leave it for now because we're not gonna expand more than this. Uh, what about people living here? Nobody moved in yet. Roads are connected. I mean, people can move in, but I won't force it yet. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna happen naturally because some of the areas around here are not really the highest living standard. They're complaining about the sports, but look, it's not really an issue. There's few people waiting, but uh, all the sports grounds are open and uh, functioning. What about this one? There's nobody waiting here, it's not functioning, but it's there. <coughs> what else? Okay, so we have a plastic factory here, and then it's connected to components factory that requires plastic, steel and chemicals, which we all have. Uh, and then requires workers to create electrical components. And these electrical components are basic necessity for mechanical components, warehouse components, plastics, and you get uh, electronics. And we are producing electronics. So uh, we have, we should be cutting our costs hugely. We're also exporting both to uh, NATO countries, uh, that's only electricity, and I think I was export. Oh, I'm exporting nuclear waste to them as well. Yes, we have several uh, several 
uh, lorries transporting nuclear waste from this power plant to uh, the border. Oh wow, there's none here. Okay, they exported all of it already. Okay, I'm kind of surprised about that. <clears throat> okay, that being said, uh, looks like we have a ba um, backlog of, uh, of um, uranium uh, uh, hexafluoride. <clears throat> we have a lot of containers here. More than enough. Look at this. These are old hexafluoride containers. Uh, 700 kilos of it. I think... <clears throat> This is not this uh, um, uranium uh, oxide is called yellow cake, I believe so. I, I, I watched a documentary the other day about it, and then from yellow cake it's uh, hexafluoride, and then from hexafluoride you create <coughs> small uh, pellets, nuclear pellets, and then they are used to produce nuclear fuel. Uh, right, so this seems like it can have more workers, and this is a um, bottleneck for us. Uh, bottleneck for, neck for us. Yes, I think um, I'm learning a lot from the <coughs> from everything that we're doing here. So we have like Zhernovets, uh and we have Vavkovsk. Vavkovsk is an example of the city that functions absolutely perfectly, while uh, and also Varstok. While um, cities like Zharnovets are not functioning that well, and parts of the uh, Leshia, which I want to make well better, for some reason they are complaining about stuff. In this case, sports. Even though there's a lot of sports grounds around them, they're still complaining about not being able to play sports. Look at this: 50 people, nobody can work in here. Come on, there. We go. And there's an empty uh, sports grounds here. Anyway, oh, tennis grounds. Yeah, but there's nobody visiting tennis grounds. Our Soviet people are, are better than this. Right. Uh, what are we doing in this episode? I'm allowing a lot of time to pass to have this construction. Continuing, finishing. Uh, we have several... Um, uh, segments that we need to finish before we implement a uh, series. Let's go first. Let's say first thing I would like to implement is the uh, public transport here. So maybe people will move on their own. There's already a lot of job open here. Jobs open here. Like, uh, uh, oh, I need to assign some of the uh, distribution offices. So let's see here. These guys are just collecting crops from the fields these guys are getting meats and these guys are getting I'm pretty sure this is food and why it isn't selected there we go I think this is not necessary but here we go uh, can we get this shopping center on your line yes we can and then you perfect so we have those two things and then we have this distribution office I believe that they are distributing the yes electronics as well so I will assign this shopping center let me just say we see that if it's unloading yes it is and we have one more which I don't really know where it is <coughs> this is construction materials we don't need that do we have distribution of clothes we should do but who's no, we might not. We don't. I mean, maybe we don't have it. Maybe I don't. I, I don't think I'm gonna put a distribution of clothes at now because we're gonna be moving all these factories outside of the city. Well, we're already moving them, <coughs> so we're gonna have uh, four clothing factories here, and we're gonna have two fabric factories here, and we're gonna have a train line. We're gonna have the whole shebang. Right. Uh, so, so clothing for now, I'm gonna take a loss on that. Wow, you guys are not really working. So, <clears throat> um, Pro Pro said that I should put all the distribution offices over 10%. And uh, what are you? This? So I'm gonna put it over 10%. I'm not really sure that, sure that it works like that. Pro said that. Uh, they have to have over 10% in order to work, otherwise they would be working all the time. But that's not true, because here we have Barajarad Medium Distribution Office. 
it's over zero percent but it's not working so the the trucks are not driving why because uh, there's no demand for it for the okay there's a lot of meat okay i think meat is being distributed is this are these no these are not no these are meat yeah, yeah this is the meat trucks yeah yeah, yeah these are refrigeration trucks that are uh, delivering meat. Yes, yes, yes. You can just go and deliver your meat. Yeah, I think it's working uh, quite nicely. They are working a lot and uh, uh, that's because we are consuming a lot of uh, meat. And also we are not really... Uh, we're not... Oh, okay, this is being built. We're not really... Um, we don't have a lot of storage space in the shopping centers for meat. For example, uh, here we have only one ton uh, storage. Uh, and they are consuming it uh, kind of fast-ish. We can monitor, for example, this guy if he's gonna get the the meat delivered soon or not. Not yet. One one refrigeration truck passed. There's another one coming here. Let's see if it's coming over here. Let's just small shopping center. Nope. This one is Jarnovias. Here we go. I think this one is delivering. Yes. The second one is... Uh, there you go. And then you're gonna go here and deliver the meat. Yes. Well, he only delivered 500 kilos of meat. That's not enough. Uh, so it's only 50%. How much meat can you get? You can uh, carry 3 tons of meat. Okay, so we need to... Alright. I need to think how we can actually make this... Maybe if I make it a bit lower than 90%, like 60, then they're gonna be carrying more meat. I'm not sure. Okay, let's experiment with the meat first. Uh, I wanna see more meat being delivered, so if I put them to 50%... No, 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 that's not gonna work. That's 60%, but it's not gonna work. We need... Um, storage to be over 90%. Probably when they... Uh, ordered meat, they were at 50% and then, or 40% and then by the time it delivered it just fell down to 20%. No, that was just 30%. Then. A anyway, anyway, lo lo let's not dwell over that. I'm gonna have to think about that to, to see how to resolve it. Now, these factories here that we're building, they require a lot of different A lot of different uh, supplies, and uh, I'm slowly thinking that we should slowly start to dismantle this area here. Yeah, they're still building this tunnel. <coughs> it's gonna be a while, but uh, I'm fine with that. We, we, we have time. Uh, what's with oil supplies here? He's taking it all in. Okay, this is gonna fit in there fine. <coughs> Yeah, I stopped exporting oil itself because uh, we are processing all the oil into fuel. So, uh, do we have a backlog here? Well, kinda, kinda, but uh, uh, that's good, that's good. But they need to start processing all of that. And they're processing, per it's over 300 people. O around 300 ish people are living there now. So, when this area is finished, we're gonna be removing this silo here that is practically not even working anymore uh, we're gonna be removing the uh, fabric factory we're gonna be removing at one point this uh, river construction offices and uh, adjacent stuff we're gonna be removing the alcohol production and even this whole line here we're gonna be redoing this area here but what I'm gonna make here I'm not really sure I was thinking of making a cable cart but when we remove this, we can actually make a nice slope, maybe even a road connecting this part of the city with that. This is going to give us a lot of uh, free space for building some additional buildings, probably. And uh, what else we're going to be removing? We're going to be removing this area here. Uh, it's going to be a lot of free space here as well. So probably I'm thinking about neighborhoods, but uh, who knows? We'll see. And there's a shopping center. They have most of the amenities and... Uh, let's see shopping center. It's at capacity, kind of, from time to time, but I think you can handle a few more buildings. Uh, yes, because a lot of shoppers come from here, right? 
Yeah, but a lot of shoppers go here as well, so... Huh. And I don't think... Uh, look, I can see here that we have a median distribution office here selected. Let's, let's take a look at it. This is a meat. Okay, so we need electronics. So let me do this straight away. Uh, this building and uh, we need bread. The bread would be this one. So we're gonna assign this one here. There we go. We have three distribution offices delivering everything but clothing. That's fine. That's fine. Is this being... Yes, this is being supplied. Okay, supplied with food, clothing and uh, electronics. No, no, food, electronics, and meat. No clothing uh, yet. Do we have people working here? We have. This is all finished. This is not finished. So these two segments are not finished. The rest of it is finished. Right, right, right. Uh, here, these neighborhoods are done. Uh, sorry, roads are done. Neighborhoods are being constructed. Perfect. Absolutely magnificent. I'm waiting for this um, main line to be done and then we can put public transport in the circulation and um, we'll go from there. <coughs> Probably we're gonna have to... We need a train station finished here as well. What does it need? It needs um, just workers. We have several uh, construction offices assigned to it, but, uh, well, I, I know that there's people, but uh, there's just so many things happening at the same time, so uh, I'm just gonna have to let them finish uh, whenever they can. So we have a construction office here, and look at this, this is what we're constructing at the moment. Uh, just in this construction office, a lot of them are assigned to the same thing. Uh, prefab flats, that's probably one of these... Yeah, one of these buildings, uh, they need prefab panels and it's going to be done in a second as soon as they get those prefab panels. Do we have any issue with the prefab panels? I wouldn't assume so because we have really good production of the prefab panels. I should really stop seeing prefab panels. Yeah, they're obviously consuming them, look at these guys. Okay, so this truck is not a member of any... office it's just distributing these prefab panels here and there yeah I don't think we need that let me see the lines here let me let me see if we can manage any lines steel mill Segadora open storage okay I think this is not really necessary anymore so um, so um, I think I'm gonna have to redo these Lesha Steel Mill to Segadora Open Storage. Uh, yeah, this is not really necessary, you guys, you dude. Uh, I hope you don't have anything loaded. Oh, he does. You know what? Uh, congratulations, you got sold. Janovitz uh, comp uh, Components Factory? Yeah, I'll, I'll leave this one. Uh, this is direct line of uh, steel going from uh, steel mill to components factory and it looks like we are currently producing as much as we are consuming that's good we're lacking some iron here okay this is worrying again no train here okay they're they're moving they're moving where are the trains then okay they're on the way be iron no it's cold well this one is iron but it's not being processed fast enough. So you have it here, but not here. Yeah, we're just not processing fast enough. So this is going to have to be one of the things we're going to have to focus on. Uh, this is an unloading station. I can easily convert this to loading station because this gravel here, it's kind of not necessary to be transported anymore. Last chance to buy, that's fine. What else? Fire, fire. Well, guys, I, I think we can easily start more um, stuff. Oh, uh, you again. We can easily start constructing more stuff, but I'm kind of worried that uh, I, we won't have... Um, uh, let's see how far... But only 300 meters. We can go for another line of apartments. Okay, this is quite nice. But I won't. 
not yet. Oh, it's done. The road is done. Uh, that's perfect. Thank you for your information. Thank you for your information. Let's build the road connection to these apartments. So one, two, three, and four. Uh, these are 100% totally organic uh, apartments, so we're not doing anything with it. We're just letting it uh, fill in on its own. So we have one building that is practically full. And let's see what people need here. I would assume schools and kindergartens. No, they're fine. Sports, spiritual, spiritual. That you should have a church here. Yeah, the church is not servicing these guys anymore, but I mean, like, there's nobody living there, but it, we're also not uh, worried about that. And did we make... I don't think I made the um, monitoring station. Let's try to build a weather monitoring station here. No, I think... I have no idea. Okay, let's just build a water monitoring station. So let's go to this and this and uh, yes, in the middle of our good people's republic, town. And uh, yes, uh, because this is doing so well, I'm thinking of placing some new, some more ac accessories here. So next to the church, can we plug this in? Maybe we don't have to, but uh, uh, I think I'm gonna go with this one. No, then the the, the party headquarters won't be seen well. Let's go, let's do with this one. Maybe here on the side of it. Right, I think this is fine, and um, who's gonna be overlooking this nice wind windy road here? I think Comrade Lenin... Uh, Comrade Lenin would be perfect to fit here. Uh, big one? No, let's go with a smaller one. Actually, probably should be directed in this direction, and... Uh, Wow, well, okay, it doesn't like it here. No. No, it's not gonna be a thing, but it can definitely be a thing here. But then it can be a bigger one, because it's not a small space, so let's go like this. There you go. <coughs> Right, um, a lot of these things can also be upgraded, I can see here with the roads. Um, we had a couple of comments that the roads are not being upgraded, uh, and that's absolutely correct. So I'm gonna start upgrading some of the roads. They need access on this side. This thing doesn't need a road, it has pedestrian passages. But there's still, yeah, we can still pause for a second, just build those two roads. This one, the, does it have pedestrian access? It does, but um, I think we can get the roads with lights here rather than any other. And we need this access for the hospital and the uh, fire station. So slowly we're just upgrading uh, all these roads that we have that we didn't upgrade. Uh, uh, and uh, of course the buildings. <coughs> Wabkavisk is, uh, like I said, it's an example town. Something like Nova Huta in Poland. It's uh, just... Um, it's just an example of uh, how good the Soviet, uh, um, our communism is, is the best communism. <coughs> so we gonna go and... Build this. Well, this looks a little bit weird. Why did I build that? Who knows? Let's continue just building up on, up, uh, on that like this. There we go. Not, now it makes perfect sense. Yeah, I think people from... Oh. Hmm. 
There we go. Oh, do these people have exit? Ooh, they don't even have exit from this building. Yikes, I just blocked a lot of people in here. Uh, let's build this one here. Oh boy. And this one here. There we go. Sorry about that, peeps. Um, that's fine. And uh, maybe I can build additional access to this building from here and the power cable. It's fine. It's fine. I think we're gonna be fine. Dun, 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 dun. I was thinking of um, um, removing uh, the music from uh, when I'm recording and then adding the music later, but I just love <laughs> like some music, some songs I'm not too crazy about. Some of them are so epic. I I'm probably gonna burn the CD because I, I bought the soundtrack as well. Um, I, I'm gonna burn a CD and listen to this in my car. I'm, I'm sorry to say I'm still not <laughs> doing that yet, not doing that, but uh, we will, we will soon. Okay, so this is well supplied with uh, workers. Let's see the coal mine here. Well, we're getting there. It's a little bit further, a little bit further away than the iron mine, but uh, wow, they're burning fast. But everything is working. Uh, right, so we have a bus station here. S for this, no, not this, for this. Okay, and people are supplied uh, well, so I'm gonna go and, go and pause for a second. Uh, yikes, so we're gonna have to do this gradually. I wanna upgrade the roads. L let's start with this one first, that's fine. Yeah, um, asphalt, I think I'm gonna have to upgrade it uh, with our own money, because this is access to to our actual uh, asphalt production that we need to lay here, so this is practically impossible to upgrade. And uh, just to look nice, we can upgrade this one. This is all fine, I'm not actually... What are you distributing? <coughs> okay, they're distributing the... Um, resources for the railroad construction okay so let's go with the railroad construction obviously we're gonna have to pay for this one and this one and i'm gonna have to pay for an intersection here because everything else seems to be working and uh okay so what's with this okay you're still working on this okay i'll i'll uh <coughs> i'm gonna let this one slide so i'm gonna let you finish this and uh yes this seems like it's only that one line uh, needs to be finished. Yeah, that's fine. L l one of them is going to be working on this line. And then we're going to have the railroad from here going somewhere towards... Okay, we need to, we need to have a plan. We need to uh, choose where this is going to go. Okay, let's go to the map. Okay, uh, map is here. Uh, Vavkavisk is here. And the border crossing, we have one around here. Yes, this is the one <coughs> that we are using currently. So I think railroad should go towards these two towns. And then from there, we can uh, uh, make two. Okay, these are high mountains, and this looks like a low point in the mountain. So one railroad is going to have to go this way, and one railroad going this way. I just want to connect everything. That, that's the plan. <laughs> no, no. We already discussed it in a comment section that um, it would be <clears throat> it would be quite nice if we could uh, um, bring everything that our people need to every city, even without uh, providing uh, all like jobs to everybody, uh, like uh, give them electricity or I don't know, shopping center. But let's say electricity. And uh, that they will be able to, uh, well, at least have that. But I'm not sure if there's any point of doing that. Because, um, I don't know. I Like, I, I can do it because uh, I don't care about the money. I don't care about the electricity. So I can make, like, a switch here. And then, um, uh, sorry, the, the junction and then switch and the transformer station. And then having, like, three transformers here, three three transformers here and uh, these two towns would have 
all, all the nice stuff, the connection and, you know, all the good stuff. But uh, I'm not, I don't see the point to that as of now, so I think I'm gonna just pass, well, in this episode at least. So I'm gonna continue constructing the railroads. So maybe... Oh! We need a middle... So something like... Uh, Yes, something like that would be nice. And if I press the... <coughs> uh, I don't want to do a lot of terraforming. I like it to be bouncy. I like it to be authentic. I mean, like, we have... Probably we would have enough resources to, to just go straight and... Uh, <coughs> uh, uh, straight from one town to the other. Like, through the mountains, through the... Well, through everything. But uh, I would just like it to be uh, a gradual. So here we go. We are gonna go and yeah, it looks like the best way to go here is through this gap. There's a gap, gap through here. Let's see what map says. Map says that the lowest point uh, here without a tunnel is next to this road. So let's use it. Let's use that. Uh, I'm gonna aim for that. So. So something like this. Let's see if we can build this without doing any... Whoa. I knew it. <laughs> I need control. No, it's, uh, it's shift and then this. And here we go. I think this is better. Okay. No free excavator. We came through here and looked like it's a small hill in on on here. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is. So uh, let me see if I can level this. Oh, I can. Okay. Yeah, probably excavators are doing some of the work that I told them, so... Uh, it's not that far from Vavkovisk, so I'm pretty sure that... Uh, yeah... This is... Oh! <coughs> this is gonna be step by step. But here we go. Over the hills. Over the hills. Okay. And now we can have, yeah, we can have a junction here. So somewhere around here we can have a junction. One railroad is going to go to Trishov, 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 and one to Virov. Uh, but uh, do we cross the... No, we, we can just make a T junction somewhere here. So let's, uh, let's continue on and... Uh, one here and one next to it. It looks a little bit better, but uh, not totally impressed and but let's just let them let them build it so I'm gonna have to implement some two-way chain lights here and here so we can have a second uh, train working on the second railroad this one is probably gonna go all the way straight he's working there and we should have should we no we don't we only have two you know what? I think we deserve to have another mechanism. No American, right? No American. Americans. We only have this one. So this is the biggest one we have, the most expensive one, and voila, one more. So how are we doing with the resources? Panels are low. Uh, trucks are fine. I mean, we're missing some. Oh, well, slowly. Do we still have a train who supplies this, or do we transport this with the trucks? I don't remember. Oh, well, this is here. We go. We have this Bashik distribution office brings. Oh yeah, this one is supplying. Yes, yes, this one is supplying. The one distribution office is supplying this. The other one is uh, bringing all this stuff from Segadora. Yes, Segadora one. It's a big one that uh, is bringing all the stuff. Yes. Okay. So um, I think we are slowly um, resolving this issue. So. <coughs> Uh, how are we doing here? How's this farm doing? 
this farm is doing more than well because I can see that there's uh, not a lot of machinery on the fields. We have one, two, three fields being worked at this time and that's not good. We need more fields to be worked. Oh wow, okay, I can see where the issue is. Why are these guys not picking this up? So let's see, oh right. Okay. Is this it? You're still not picking this up. Uh, maybe this field is not... Uh, okay, may probably this field is not even assigned. So, do we have... No, we don't. Okay, this is the problem. We have too many fields. We cannot assign them all to... Right. So wait, why is this not being transported to this and to train? There's an issue with these. Uh, right, I think we're gonna have to have at least one truck. So let's see, we have uh, seven harvesters and three tractors, and uh, five tractors. So let's go with a tractor. I'm gonna sell, oh, this is the only one working, doesn't matter. Uh, sell this one and get one truck. Uh, this is the fastest one, 95, and has a lot of tonnage, it's fine. Actually, that's not the best one, right? I think I should have chosen the covered hull. This one. No, 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 I chose one. This, this is better one, yes, okay. Okay, <coughs> we have this truck. Hopefully, he's gonna be delivering. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. But still, why is this not transferring stuff to this silo? Because this train requires... Okay, um, I... They have one truck, that's fine for the rest of the fields. This guy can cover them. Um, these guys can cover them, but this is not this is not cool. There's not enough um If it's over zero you should pick it up, yeah. <coughs> oh, they're going. Okay, is this what he was saying? The 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 uh, uh, Pro was saying that they're gonna be running all the time. No, no, they have crops. No, they're they're doing. Maybe they just started. It. Maybe it's an accident. Maybe they started at the same time. No, no, there's a lot of crops here. No, yes, Pro. This is also one against uh, the the solution that you said. All source buildings over 10 percent. What if there's no percentage of the buildings? So like fields, they don't have percentage. How the, the full they are. <coughs> the the workers will never work so that means for fields or the buildings that they don't have percentage um, it's better to have over zero because they're not gonna go and pick up anything because they have other stuff to do so right it has to be over zero well I understand what you mean but I'm not sure if that works that way uh, we'll, we'll continue in the chat section. We're gonna continue working on the chat uh, concerning this in the chat section. Right, um, how are we doing here? We slowly we build a train station, alcohol. Uh, okay, so we need this finished, and after that, we will be able to. Okay, this needs <coughs> steel, bricks, and workers. Okay, it's slowly progressing. What can I say? It's uh, it's a uh, eternal job. Well, okay, the street is done. Okay, let's implement the let's implement the trolley line. Now we have one trolley line going all the way from this area around here to here. I'm thinking that we can implement it to go. Do we have this connection. Yes, we do. Is it connected all the way over the bridge? Yes. Yes, I was thinking of uh, just continuing the circular line going, uh, redo the whole line and just make it go from here to oil refinery and then going all around through this neighborhood and this neighborhood. And then we can have the separate line going in the opposite direction. Yes, so it's, it's going to be well serviced. So let's see which line is this. I'm going to pause um, because this is a um, trolley bus line which has one, two, three, eight stops. So trucks, yes, trolley buses. 
So I don't remember where did they stop? Uh, in trolley bus four. Let's check trolley bus four. Barstock. Let's check. Trolley bus four. Here we go. Is this one? Yes. Yes, it seems to be. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's redo this line. So can we redo the whole line? Uh, maybe yes. Maybe not. Yes, I think we can. So let's do this. Um, I paused for a second. I'm gonna remove uh, you. Yes. Okay, four and five. So this is four and five would be here. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, we're continuing on. Uh, I'm gonna add four, five, and then we have the next one would be next to the refinery. And then the next one would be to the university. And next one would be all the way through this area. And all the way here. And then continuing down here. And then back here. And then number five. And ending in number four. And that's the beginning one. There we go. There we go. Saved. Perfect. You can you can go now. Uh, let's implement a new line. So can we just create a line here? Yes, indeed we can. Um, new stop. Let's go the same direction. Yeah, it has to be one here and then one here and then the third one is the same, but it's gonna go the opposite direction here, here, and then back to the universities. And then back to the... Oh! No, 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 it's fine. So here. And this one. And back to number four. Perfect. And now we just have to give you... Uh, the little stops now. We need to give you trolley buses. Let's see, American ones. No. Let's see, Russian ones. Soviet Union and Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia has 60 kilometers per hour, 65 people. This one is 84 people, 75 kilometers. So, uh, Soviet Union. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go with six. And uh, set the line for vehicles would be. Let's just remove. Actually, I need to remove this and remove this and then copy this schedule to one, two, three, four, five. Six. Oh, I can launch them from this menu as well. Perfect. Off you go. All of you can off you go. And off you go. Perfect. They're gonna. E uh, they're probably gonna equalize themselves and make a distance uh, on their own. So I'm fine with that. Perfect. <laughs> Functioning. Um, even though I think this <laughs> this part of the city is uh, overconnected, I have to say. Uh, there's not a lot of people waiting for trolley buses here, and there's population dwindling around here. I'm gonna leave it as it is, because <clears throat> as soon as we have this area connected, I'm gonna be rejuvenating this area. I'm thinking of uh, more buildings and some amenities for people. What do you mean? What do you need? Sport. They don't really need sport. I don't know what's wrong with them, because... Oh, power supply is dwindling here. Yeah, this is long, long, long overdue. Um, this thing here, it's just using too much power. This, uh, yeah, but this is, again, like I said, it is using too much power, but it won't be using power for too long. Yeah, look, because we have... No, this is a separate line. I think these are separate lines. Separate power lines connecting the uh, this one, the, the tram line, and uh, then we have this line. This is the problematic one um, because this. Oh, it's. Uh, oh yeah, I see it now. So this line is going all the way to here, and this is consuming a lot of power. Okay. I'm pretty sure when we remove these factories, they should be consuming. They are consuming some power. Let's see how much. Uh, 0 0.04 megawatts. Well, it's gonna be 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.15 megawatt less consumption. So, um, 
Yeah, it's still it's it's gonna be less. It's gonna be less. <clears throat> but I still need really need to make a plan, make a map, and uh, with all power grid, and then reassign. See the consumption of the, um, especially in this area here. This area is finalized. This is how I like it. <clears throat> we have different part, different cities with different buildings, uh, and uh, for example, people here they seem to be quite happy, and I'm I'm happy that they're happy. Um, how is this doing? <laughs> Do we have vehicles coming here? Okay, we have. <laughs> Um, yeah, but it's connected. Uh, all of it is connected. Let's see the... We have a train stop here. How many people? Oh, wow! Okay, that's a lot of people. 11 and 2 and 13, that's 26 people. Okay, uh, looks like trams are being a little bit more useful. Now, more people are using trams. That's nice to see. They just picked up. One worker. Let's pause. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Three... 18, 20, 40 people. There are 40 people here. Workers or everybody's getting out here. I'm, I'm really happy to see that. I have to say. I really am. Right. Now, with that being said, <coughs> we're gonna slowly uh, end this episode. It's a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit shorter than usual. So uh, bear with me. Right. Uh, we have. Uh, well, it's not going to be really short, right? we're at 52 minutes, 51 and a half minute, but uh, maybe it's going to be just a minute or two uh, uh, under an hour, because we're still finalizing a lot of construction that's happening around here. Uh, and yes, I still didn't remove these guys here. And I remove this. And let's see if we can... Oh, wow. Yeah, I think we should just uh, remove the station. There's some vehicles that are associated with this. Oh, no, they're not. Okay, that's perfect. We, we had a bus line or something um, being sourced here, so I'm not really sure if it's still being sourced. It uh, doesn't matter. When we remove this station, we'll see if, uh, if they're sourced or not. Uh, le uh, okay, let's do this real quick. Uh, we have four of these stations, two for people, two for, for vehicles. Can we just continue? We have to select the vehicle first. Uh, we have two for vehicles and two for uh, does enter work here no I have to click on every every individual one so um yeah we have two for uh, for cargo and two for people and uh, they serve us really well but you can't make them too long the one in uh, in uh, Varstok is working fine and I think it's perfect distance and uh, unfortunately do it it wasn't meant to be. So, uh, right, these people are walking all the way here. Why? To work, maybe? I think it would be easier to go on the pedestrian path here. Anyway, let's remove this and see uh, if we can build something here. So, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna leave it as it is, uh, this area here, because I'm not really sure if uh, what we're gonna put in here. I'm gonna see the needs of our people, uh, spirituality, yes, you can take a uh, trolley bus and all that stuff. Uh, mechanical components, yeah, they're doing fine. I mean, like, it's not like we're on zero. There's 13 tons at the cargo station, yeah? have capacity for that or is it associated through this no it looks like it's associated through this how much they can load that's fine that's all fine anyway we're gonna slowly end it now uh, yeah 55 minutes I think it's fine Right, let's recap. We're still uh, working on some issues. We're still building the new industrial neighborhood outside of Leszcze. We're hoping to have this area here in this industry free. We're going to expand this industry free area around this near the refinery. But um, yeah, it is how it is. So what do we have here? Train is being loaded. Okay, that's working. All these trucks are on the road. And... Um, Right. It's working. 
Uh, right, oil. Let's see how the oil is doing here. Okay, it's stockpiling. That's perfect. Uh, we might add another wagon uh, here. It's stockpiling as well. It's doing nice. Uh, chemical industry. Uh, they're doing nice as well. Nuclear. Let's see if you are producing more. Well, there's more people working here, and uh, there's no nuclear fuel stockpiled. What about here? Okay, this is nuclear waste stockpiled, not fuel. How, so what's your production? Your production is 100 kilos of nuclear fuel per day. Production is 30%, so you should be... You're consuming 200 and some difference... Uh, 200 kilos? No, 20 kilos a day. And uh, your production is 70%, so that means this is at, well, let's say, 15 tons a day, 15 uh, kilos a day, and this is producing third of 100, so it's 30. So we should be stockpiling some fuel. Oh, okay, so I think this is stockpiled. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, anyway, it uh, looks like we should be producing more than we are consuming, and uh, I just need to see if we have stockpiled. No, there's not. No, there's not. Right. Town. Doing well. I don't like this bridge. Oh, not doing well. Not doing well. What's the problem? What's the problem? Coal. Coal. Uh, right. You need to go here. Is this iron? Be iron. Yes, it's iron. Okay. So this is gonna con this is gonna uh, boost consumption of coal. So it's fine. I think this power plant here is actually a really good idea because it acts like a, at least slow dripping of coal. So if we have excess coal, it can process it. But uh, here we go. Now it's gonna start dropping. Look at this bang. Processing you know, all that coal into steel. Yeah, there's, there's just too many trains. Too many trains we have. We need to organize better this area anyway guys thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this one if you did press the like button if you didn't leave a nasty comment in the comment section they are really welcome the, the constructive criticism welcome thank you for watching like subscribe notification bell leave a comment in the comment section see you in the next one bye bye